the Coakley campaign is in full swing. The Democratic gubernatorial candidate held a campaign rally at Clark University in Worcester this Thursday, where President Clinton came to express his support. I actually got here on time. I was just a little high to speak. I was way, I mean, high in the air. <laughs> high in the air. I'm also high on Mark and C, but that's legal. Uh, President Clinton was only one of several Democratic representatives to come out and show support. Speakers included Senator Ed Markey. Who will be the leader on that? The first woman governor elected in the state of Massachusetts. Assistant Attorney General Maura Healy. And they are the values of our next governor, Martha Coakley. And Governor Deval Patrick. And I feel lucky that Martha Coakley is going to be the next governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Clark University is home to nearly 3,000 students. One of the goals of today's campaign was to educate these students about the politics in the state of Massachusetts, regardless of who they may be voting for. I'm not very familiar with a lot of the candidates, so it was really nice to get more acclimated to that and hear what they had to say and everyone's passion and what they had planned for Massachusetts was really great to hear. I really liked how they had all the different people come out and talk about what they're each passionate about, um, whether it was Jim McGovern, whether it was the, um, Martha Coakley, Bill Clinton, like all of those different people came out and just talked about different things that they're passionate about, which I really liked. Debating whether to vote, Martha Coakley's running mate, Steve Kerrigan, has a message for you. By the way, get out and vote. Get out and, and get your friends out and vote. Don't be a lonely voter. Bring people on your hall to vote. Bring people you see in the, in the dining hall from your classroom, from your study group, anywhere. Bring them to vote. So make sure to mark your calendars and get to the polls on November 4th. Reporting for the BU News Service, I'm Ashley Paul.